Hey lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Natasha and if you're new to my channel then hey. Alright, so today I'm talking to you guys about how to level up in your 20s. I feel like your 20s are the years to have fun, to enjoy life, to just do things and be your best self and make mistakes. Maybe you're someone who doesn't really want to do that, you just want to step straight into your soft life, you want to step straight into being that woman. You want to set yourself up well for when you hit your, you know, the back end of your 20s or when you're going into your 30s or maybe Maybe you're closer to 30 you know you're halfway through your 20s and you just feel like I want to just change things up like I don't want to continue being this person I'm going into my 30s soon and I just want to kind of level up my life and change and redefine myself there's nothing wrong with re redefining yourself ladies trust and believe you can become whoever you want attain anything you want and I've got all the tea and all the ways that you guys can go about doing that so sit back relax and let's get into this video right now okay so the first thing that you guys want to do is work on your mental health work on nourishing your mind and listening to people like myself listening to my podcast listening to my youtube videos follow me on instagram reading loads of books about self-development all the self-help books on how to level up how to glow up how to you know set boundaries how to win friends and influence people there are so many books that you guys can read if you're not really someone who's into reading books because trust me i get it not everyone loves to read books then watch youtube videos watch loads of youtube videos watch your favorite youtubers binge watch their content and just take things from what they're saying take things implement it into your life and listen every single day you start to wake up and feel like that woman you start to embody that woman you want to be sooner or later you will become that woman without even realizing and these self-help books really help you to kind of put you in that mindset and get you to think about all the things that you need to be thinking about also just working on your mental health like we all have mental health struggles we all go through things we all have trauma and just working on those traumas and becoming your best self and you know healing that inner child inside of you so that you can get into healthy relationships don't trauma bond with boyfriends building your relationships with your family and the people around you who you love you know just learning to set boundaries not becoming a not being a people pleaser these are all things that you definitely have to learn and work on and just by reading books going to therapy and watching videos is a good place to start on that journey the next thing i'm going to say is to upgrade your wardrobe i've done so many videos on how to upgrade your wardrobe i'll link them above but let me tell you this sis if you look good you feel good when you look good you feel good and the whole fake it till you make it that's kind of where I feel that that comes into play if you just dress the way you want to be you know seen in this world whether that is someone who's respected someone who um kind of commands control someone who is elegant someone who's classy someone who is friendly approachable you know all of these things then you definitely want to dress in a certain way because that will reflect what you're trying to put out there in this world because people see you physically first if you look a certain type of way trust me people start to believe that you are that person if you are happy and bubbly and you're wearing beautiful clothing it doesn't even have to be designer you can wear zara you can wear primark you can wear shein it's not what you wear but how you wear it if that is where you have to start out at if that is where your budget is at you can definitely make these things look classy i've done videos on all different brands and how you can make them look classy on all different types of budget so definitely watch those but honestly just upgrading your wardrobe and changing your wardrobe like if you are now trying to change who you are and level up you don't want to be wearing the same clothes like you want to redefine yourself you want to stand out from everyone else you want to be taken more seriously then what you wear is definitely something that people are going to look at it's going to determine how people see you okay so the next thing you guys want to do is come up with some sort of morning routine some sort of ritual that every morning when you wake up this is what you do whether it's you meditate you go for a walk you go to the gym you go for a run you make breakfast you brush your teeth you have a moment of mindfulness you write in your prayer journal or in your diary you read a book you know whatever it may be just come up with some sort of positive morning routine that will kind of just start your day off on 
on a high note on a positive note because how you start your day kind of determines how your day will go if you start your day on a high on a positive then chances are you will remain that way like if you start all groggy and upset and just all over the place and cluttered and messy that is how your day is going to progress that is how you're going to feel throughout the day but if you just start your day with a really nice calming soothing morning routine that will kind of set the tone for the rest of your day so definitely coming up with some sort of morning routine some sort of morning skincare routine to make your skin feel good so you feel good make yourself look youthful and put together <sighs> guys also along with coming up with a morning routine you guys want a nighttime routine as well as a morning routine you need a nighttime routine so that when you come home from work or when you've had a really long day this is your time to unwind this is me time this is time for you to just kind of gather your thoughts you know it could be exactly the same as your morning routine you journal you read you listen to some calming music you light a candle you have a nice warm bath and you soothe yourself you pamper yourself you adorn yourself just some sort of nighttime routine so that when you go to bed you go to bed feeling calm and your spirit is at peace and then when you wake up in the morning you now have a morning routine that kind of wakes up and uplifts your spirit just having the two of them has completely transformed my life and it just puts you in a really nice routine and sets the tone for your day and also for your nights the fourth thing you guys want to do which to me is so 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 important is prioritize self-care i never really used to care for self-care that much like pampering myself and shaving and getting my nails done and you know just really looking after myself i do the bare minimal like shower i cream my skin but i didn't put love into it i wouldn't cream my skin with love and rub on myself and you know just uh, like just hug myself and touch myself with love and tender care i would just slap it on and just yep good to go let's go but now i just really love to take time to comb my hair to look after my hair to look after my skin to like to kind of massage in the oils into my skin it sounds hella extra but honestly if you don't love on yourself like this how can you expect someone else to love on you like this? Like you have to really love yourself. You have one body, one vessel. You have to look after your body. So that means just prioritizing self-care, whether that means taking yourself to the spa or getting a massage every now and then just to loosen up your muscles, going to the gym, you know, just really looking after yourself. Health is wealth, guys. You really have to take care of yourself, take care of your mental health, your physical health, your emotional health. These are all things that link into me for self-care so just looking after self is super super important when a situation is not serving you leave becoming selfish becoming selfish is one of the most life-changing things i did i was a people pleaser i was someone who would move heaven and earth for everyone else but myself everyone else but myself and I used to feel so disheartened if that situation ended badly and you put in all this effort or people just don't appreciate a lot of time people don't appreciate most of the stuff you do for them especially if they never asked for it and now you feel like right Muppet because you've gone over and beyond for this person to help them to be that friend I'm that friend I'm that person but why? but why you don't need to like you're already amazing you like that person already appreciates you. you don't need to be doing the most just prioritizing yourself your happiness your mental health if you're in a relationship and it's not serving you it's you don't see this person being your husband having kids with this person leave leave like laurie harvey said it just remember <laughs> that you are the prize yes that's like his golden slogan for me yeah and so. what does that mean for you in relationships when you're like, I'm the prize? What does that mean? It just means not compromising like my values, my happiness, my peace, not settling for less than what I know I deserve and not being afraid to walk away from a situation if it's like no longer serving me. If you don't love yourself first, like no one can love you. You're gonna end up, you know, allowing yourself to be treated in certain ways, to be misused, to be abused. And that is not what this is about. You wanna just level up your life and prioritize yourself and your mental health and your happiness is super, super important. The sixth thing that you guys wanna do is just cut off toxic people, cut them off, just get rid of them. And the next thing as well, don't allow them back in. I used to make that mistake so much where I cut off toxic people, then 
they come back begging and I've changed and I'm sorry and I'm a new person and they do the same things like people change if they want it but people don't really change all that much sometimes like you know and my thing is when someone's shown you really toxic traits just leave it let it go you guys just don't align it's not a hating thing it's not you're better than them thing it's just we just don't align there are some people who love to gossip and you might not love to gossip there are other women who love to gossip they will fit in so well in that crowd in that group of women but in in your group they just don't fit in you don't fit in there so don't say that situation is not serving you so leave cutting off toxic people anyone who brings you down anyone who's always negative anyone who wants to hold you to past decisions or past self let them go you don't need those people in your life you deserve better just cut off toxic people cut off toxic relationships toxic instagram people who you follow just let it go and cut them off and say for instance you don't want to cut someone off i get it you know maybe it's family or someone who you really love and you've known them for a long time but they're toxic put distance between you and that person honestly you don't always need to answer their phone call you don't always need to meet up with them you can love that person from a distance you can put space between you and that person and then just see them on a need to know basis see them on a oh we need to talk let's talk oh we need to meet up it's your birthday let's do that but you don't need to be talking to them all the time you don't need to be telling them your business just keeping that person's at arm lens is super important for your own mental health if you don't want to cut them off that's fine just keep them at arm's length so they, they don't have access to you all the time the next thing you guys want to do is learn to become mysterious have you ever seen someone and they just look so mysterious like you don't know what's going on with them you don't even know how they talk how they speak you don't know nothing about their life you just know that there's something about them that just pulls you in learn to be mysterious most people don't care about your business and most people just want to use it to gossip or for negativity so why tell them anyway like there's no point like learn to be mysterious and have that je ne sais quoi like ladies you need to have that je ne sais quoi where there's there's just something about her there's just there's just something about her that just pulls me in there's just something about her that just captivating that i really really like and i just need to know her. i need to have her in my life become that type of woman okay so the eighth thing you want to do when you're on this leveling up journey is to lean into your feminine energy as women we have both masculine and feminine energy but if you want to live that soft life that princess treatment allowing a man to be a man and him to walk in his masculine energy you cannot be a masculine woman you need to lean into your feminine energy lean into becoming more nurturing soft-spoken dressing more feminine behaving more feminine acting like a lady you know there are books and youtube videos that talk about etiquette and how to be a lady and how to dress that way and i've done videos on that too so definitely watch that but lean into that feminine energy and learning how to nurture that feminine energy learning how to be feminine and be submissive will take you such a long way and honestly there's so much power in femininity there's so much power in being a woman and knowing how to use your charm and your femininity to get what you want is super super important especially if you're in your 20s especially if you're in your 20s going into your 30s that's something that is your superpower that you can use to win friends and convince people and to nurture relationships okay so the ninth thing you want to do is learn some new skills and get some new hobbies under your belt like whether that's learning a new sport or learning how to dance or sing or paint you know especially feminine womanly things as well you know doing sewing and painting and exercising and pilates and yoga um you know any arts and crafts anything creative like femininity and feminine energy is all about being creative so tapping into that creativity of yours and finding some sort of passion some sort of hobby will really help you to level up yourself it will also help your health your mental health and your physical health and we're all about mental and physical health over here so just learning some new hobbies and skills also it's a good talking point you know when you meet people being able to say i do this and i like this and i'm interested in this you know it helps you to kind of be more relatable to other people and it kind of shows that you're a very multifaceted person a multifaceted woman and people love that you know you don't want to just be one dimensional you want to have different sides to you and to your personality and the final thing you want to do whilst you level up in your 20s is 
is to be patient and give yourself grace. I know I'm so guilty of putting so much pressure on myself to be a certain way or have certain things at a certain time. And sometimes I have to just say to myself, like, Natasha, it's okay, it's cool, chill, like, relax, like, God's timing, like, what's yours will always be yours. Just do the right things and all of those things will happen for you. Giving yourself grace and being patient with yourself, saying, you know, okay, so today I kind of backslide and I did a certain things that didn't really align with the woman I want to be. I wore this dress that, oh my God, my ass was absolutely outside and that's not how I want to dress. It's okay to give yourself grace. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to, you know, not do everything perfect. Like we're not perfect as human beings and it's hard to change habits. You know, you might like certain things and now you're having to change and alter the things that you like and change and alter yourself and that in itself is very challenging so you know just give yourself grace and know that you know every day you make a mistake tomorrow is a new day for you to correct that like tomorrow is always a new day for you to wake up fresh and say today I'm going to do better today I'm not going to do what I did yesterday today I'm going to be better and do better so yeah like just give yourself grace girls like give yourself grace it's okay to make mistakes you're not some sort of superhuman you're only human and it's okay all right my love so that kind of concludes today's video if you enjoyed this video then leave me a comment down below let me know what other videos you guys want to see let me know where you are in your journey you know let's just have a conversation follow me on instagram as well because i do loads of fashion posts and i post like my day-to-day -day on my stories so it's really nice if you want to get to know me a little bit more you know i've watched some of my other videos of femininity and leveling up and especially if you're changing your wardrobe i've done loads of wardrobe and zara hauls and stuff so that's that'll be really useful for you to level up your wardrobe but until my next video i'll see you guys then so take care bye